Hello, and in today's 5 Minute Friday, I want to continue the DJI Enterprise series by going into the various terrain follow options available for the Mavic 3 Enterprise. Terrain follow is available for both route maps and linear maps. But before we get into how to do it, let's talk about why terrain following is so important for mapping projects. Many sites have very large elevation changes, so planning a flight based solely on the height above the home location can cause inaccuracies or insufficient overlap, or even cause the drone to fly into an object or into the ground. Also, with varying elevation changes, the ground sampling distance will be variable across the site, which results in variable accuracy. To implement terrain following on the Mavic 3 Enterprise, there are three options to use depending on your flight needs. To demonstrate this, I've set up a small mapping mission in an area that I know has a noticeable altitude change to show how each of these methods work. First, the most simple method is to use the real-time terrain following, which is currently only available on the Mavic 3 Enterprise. This function utilizes the obstacle avoidance sensors to accurately understand the drone's altitude above ground. To enable, just edit your map mission, switch the altitude mode to AGL, and then choose Real-Time Follow. That's it. When you run this in the field, the drone will automatically adjust to the terrain. And if you switch to the camera view, you can see a little graph showing you the terrain, how high above the start point you are, and what the drone is planning in the future. The benefits of this method are its speed and ease of use. You don't need a digital surface model, DSM, of the site before you fly, and no connectivity to the internet is needed to pull that DSM. But before you rush out and start using this feature, you should be aware of a few key points on real-time terrain following that you'll need to be aware of. First, real-time terrain following currently supports flights from 80 to 200 meters. For flights below 80 meters, it's recommended to import a DSM file, which can, you can generate using DJI Terra, or if you don't have a DJI Terra subscription, you can generate these using other software such as WebODM, and I'll be covering that in a future video. Secondly, the vision systems cannot recognize very thin objects such as power lines, and it's not suitable for flights above water, as live terrain feature will not be able to generate an accurate surface model from a reflective surface. It's also not suitable when the terrain slope is greater than 75 degrees, or it's low light situation such as running captures at night. But assuming none of those problem areas affect you, you are good to go. However, if you want to map at lower altitudes or over a reflective surface, you're going to want something else. The second option for terrain following is by using the download option to import a DSM. This pulls the DSM directly from the internet to use instead of requiring your own DSM of the site. As before, edit the plan by selecting the plan from your library, clicking on the drop down icon and then clicking on the pencil icon. Then scroll down and change the altitude mode to AGL. Make sure that real time follow is not selected. Then select reselect next to DSM files. Click on download from the internet and click OK if you're provided with this disclaimer. The file will be downloaded and you can immediately see that there's a change in the map showing colors and the colors represent the different altitudes of the area that you're mapping. Some advantages to this tool is that you don't need to manually generate a DSM of the site before flight as long as you have an internet connection and you can fly much lower than the real time terrain follow. Some disadvantages are the low resolution of the DSM at 30 meters and the inaccuracy that can appear with age. In those cases, you're going to need to generate your own DSM file based on a flight and then import that. However, that's a bit more involved and so I will cover that in another video. However, I expect these two methods to cover the majority of cases. And so for most people, this is probably all that you need. 
As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts, so feel free to leave a message. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.